What's going on everyone? Riley here. I'm back with a new video. Uh, this time I'm covering a topic that I usually don't talk about on this channel. Usually it's all comics and manga and stuff like that. Uh, but today I want to talk about Godzilla and some kaiju movies. Um, since this is something I usually don't talk about, I expect there's going to be some new people on the channel that have never been here before. If that's so, then hello, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, but I had some cool stuff that I wanted to show that I think a lot of people are really going to dig and maybe want to get for themselves. Um, so, quick introduction. I uh, have been a Godzilla fan basically my entire life since I was way too young to remember. Me and my friends, we were watching the movies, watching cartoons, playing video games, playing with the action figures and stuff that would come out um, constantly. Godzilla was up there for us with Power Rangers and other cartoon series and stuff uh, around the time in the in the very early 90s. So <clears throat> I've had Godzilla along with me for my entire life. And as an adult, of course, and a collector, that means that now I'm purchasing these nice collector's editions of Godzilla comics and movies and stuff like that. So as far as that stuff goes, the last big thing that came out was Criterion's Godzilla box set of the entire Showa era. And I'm sure there's a ton of videos out there showing off the box set and what it looks like and all the stuff inside of it. So I'll just give a quick overview of the set. It's this big portfolio sized, you know, book and right in the middle, it has slots for eight different discs that contain all the different movies. Some of them have two movies each, some of them have three movies plus bonus features. And then throughout the middle of the book, there are a bunch of different pages that give information on the making of each movie, about the directors, about the people that worked on them. And every movie has a piece of artwork from different artists. So we have uh, Bill Sienkiewicz on the first one, Katsuya Tirada, Art Adams, huge comic artist, Angela Rizza, Mono Robot, Mona Robot, not familiar with their work. Benjamin Mara, also a comic artist, works on creator own titles. Uh, Simon Gain, Robert Gooden, I'm just flailing all over the place with this thing. Sophie Campbell, who's known for her work on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ongoing comic series. Jorge Coelho, which uh, has done some work, I believe, over at Marvel, maybe on some of the Deadpool books. Uh, Jeff Darrow, legendary artist known for stuff like Shaolin Monk. Um, and big guy in Rusty the Boy Robot with, uh, among other things, Frank Miller. Becky Cloonan, who's done a ton of artwork for various series from big publishers and small. Ronald Wimberly from Prince of Cats and She-Hulk, among other things. Takashi Okazaki, I'm not familiar with their work. And then Chris Wisnia there at the end. So a lot of really cool stuff in here. It's a really nice box, but myself, I'm a little more, I like to keep things organized and very, you know, I like things to look good on my shelves. And this is a really beautiful display piece, but as far as putting on a shelf with a bunch of other movies, it doesn't really fit with the rest of them. It's, it's large, it's really big, it's, you know, you're trying to put it on the, the shelf next to regular Blu-ray boxes, it doesn't really fit. Um, and I, my initial thought was, oh, I'll put it at the top of my shelf and just kind of set it open. It'll be like a display piece. I'll have all my other Godzilla movies down below. But one day I was walking around the grocery store and all of a sudden, for some reason, just boom, like a light bulb going off. I thought to myself, I wonder if anyone has ever thought to do custom box sets for these movies. And I looked it up and sure enough, yes, there was some person who 
same mindset as myself, but more creatively inclined, who put this thing together. And I went ahead and ordered these off of eBay promptly, got them in about a week later, and have these two boxes for all the Showa era movies that were in that box set. Now I'm gonna run through and show these real quick, quick overview. The spines, really great looking um, pink and yellow motif. They kind of take the yellow and pink from the spine of the uh, big book. So we have the pink and yellow Godzilla uh, Showa era, the years Criterion logo, Criterion collection, number 1000. Um, and then it switches between the pink and yellow. They, they switch between the first and the second set. The first set has the image from the cover of the Criterion box. And on the back of each of them, we have uh, Godzilla show era. It shows all the movies that are inside of this box, uh, some description about the show era and about the movies, uh, some description about the bonus features and special features on there. We have all of those uh, icons that always appear on all the Godzilla media, uh, of which kaiju are in there. We have some uh, copyright and some uh, publishing info here, and then a description about the Criterion Collection here on, uh, in this little box. And in the second box, it's the same information with the movies that are in this set and all the same basic stuff. So you get an idea of what it looks like. On the second box, we have, this is the image from the middle of the collection where all the discs fit in. This is just one half of that artwork. And then on the inside, we have disc number one, disc number two, three and four. And then put that down and get the second set. Disc five, six, seven and eight. So all eight discs from the Criterion Collection now consolidated from that one giant book. Really beautifully put together uh, item, really nice like coffee table book type of thing. But now we have it consolidated into these normal Blu-ray size cases, four discs each, eight movies right there. So I was super happy. I was extremely happy. They're very well put together, very well printed material. Everything looks awesome. Um, and then I have those on the shelf next to all of my uh, Heisei and Millennium discs. However, I was like, man, one day I really hope that they'll do sets for Heisei and Millennium. And I don't think that Criterion's ever going to do it. So I wonder if that guy that made the uh, set for the Showa era would do Heisei and would do Millennium. And I kind of didn't think about it for a while. And then one day on a Facebook group that I had shared images of those boxes of, uh, before, someone asked about it and was like, hey, I can't find it on eBay. I know someone mentioned these. Can someone help me out? So I looked it up and the listing had been taken down. So I went to the seller's page and I let them know, hey, the seller is still up there. This is them. The listing's not there. Maybe you can message them to see if they'll um, bring it back up and, and sell it. But in the meantime, to my surprise, a few months after I had already had the Showa era box set custom boxes, they had listed, I don't know when it got listed, but at some time between then, those two moments in time, they had listed a Heisei era box set. Same idea, two boxes. The Heisei era only has seven movies compared to I think 15 with the Showa era, uh, but all of these are single disc movies. So we don't have two or three movies per disc. Instead, we have one movie per disc. So there's seven discs in this set, which means one of these only has three instead of four discs. Um, so same idea though, two of these boxes. Uh, on this one, instead of the pink and yellow, they use a kind of copper and black uh, stuff, same information, Godzilla, this Heisei era with the years on it, Criterion, Criterion Collection, number 1000. Same type of information on the back, uh, just with the individual movies that are collected in either of these sets. All of the kaiju stuff on the bottom gives description about the Heisei era, about the Criterion Collection. And on the cover, we get some uh, new artwork. The artwork on the cover of these is not taken from the Criterion box set. On the first cover, we have uh, artwork by artist James Stokoe. James Stokoe uh, has been involved in Godzilla a couple times. He's known mostly for 
the Half Century War comic book. Half Century War was a fantastic miniseries that he wrote and drew uh, that was published by IDW. I think it was like five issues. Really great uh, book. I think it's either it's still available in print either in hardcover or paperback but i know that there's a new printing of the hardcover coming out soon if you haven't read it and you're a godzilla fan i highly recommend it it's a really really great book but this is actually from the first issue of godzilla in hell godzilla in hell was i think the next miniseries that idw published for godzilla i could be wrong on that uh, and james stoko came on to do the first issue basically the story sees Godzilla travel to hell, as we're seeing happen in this. This, I think, is like the first page of issue one. And he is, it's kind of a divine comedy Dante Alighieri version of hell, where Godzilla is now made to go through the circles of hell and fight against other kaiju and, you know, other monsters that he finds along the way in hell. It's really fantastic stuff amazing artwork every issue of the five issues is a different artist with a different take on godzilla and the other monsters and on hell itself and it's just a beautiful piece of art unfortunately the collected edition of that one physically is very hard to find for a nice price they go for 100 bucks or more 150 bucks but you can find it digitally on different places like comiXology and different apps so if you want to read it and i highly recommend you do check it out there um, so this image, like I was saying, is from the first issue of Godzilla in Hell. And the second set, I'm not familiar with where this image comes from, so if anyone is familiar, let me know. It looks like it might be from a poster, like a, a Mondo poster or something like that. So if anyone's familiar with where that artwork's from, let me know. And of course, the first set, I'll take a look inside, has four movies. I've got Return of Godzilla, uh, Godzilla vs. Biolanthe in there. Godzilla vs. King Ghidra, and Godzilla vs. Mothra, or Godzilla and Mothra Battle for Earth. And then the second set has the latter three movies. Versus Space Godzilla, versus Mecha Godzilla 2, and then we have uh, versus Destroya. And so there they are together. Now, as soon as I got these in the mail, like literally same day, I went onto eBay and checked the guy's store again because I was like, maybe i don't know maybe he's done it maybe he or she has or has not and sure enough millennium era box set was there available i ordered it immediately got them in about a week later uh so i'll give a look at these same basic idea same uh they take two colors here white and blue same information godzilla millennium era shows the years criterion criterion collection on the back we have all the information about the criterion collection about the millennium era about the special features which movies and which kaiju are featured in here and all that good stuff the cover art uh on the front of the first one is actually from the back cover of the criterion set and then the cover art from the front of the second half of the Millennium box set is actually from the middle of the Criterion set. Now taking a look inside the first one, the Millennium Era only has six movies, so it's only three discs in each of these. Uh, so the first one has Godzilla 2000, Godzilla vs. Megaguirus, and then we have the uh, Giant Monsters All Out Attack. And then the second set, has Against Mechagodzilla, Tokyo SOS, and Final Wars. And there we go. We have all three of those eras of Godzilla complete in these really nice custom Criterion styled box sets. And that is how they look together. It is a beautiful set. I absolutely love them. Highly recommend them if you're a Godzilla fan, um, if you're a collector like myself and like stuff to look nice on the shelf. It's a little bit pricey, and I will give, uh, I'm going to say the name of the seller in a little bit here, so that you can go on and, and find them if you want. Um, but they are a little pricey. It's $28 plus taxes for each of those sets. So uh, in total, you'd be paying about $100 to get all three of them. Right now, the Showa era set is not listed on their page. But I've been told that if you reach out to the seller, they might be able to relist it or they might still sell it. But the other two, Heisei and um, Millennium, are available, so you can get those. So 
as of now, they haven't listed anything else. They have other movies like, you know, Star Wars, Hobbs and Shaw, Dr. Sleep. They have some custom boxes for like um, digital first series like the Netflix Punisher, The Mandalorian and stuff like that. Uh, but they haven't done any more Godzilla or Kaiju related stuff, which I know is what people are probably watching this for. Um, but there is still, you know, they've done Millennium, they've done the main three eras, but there is still some other stuff they can do. And just to throw out some ideas, uh, they could do a single single box, one of these, four disc set for the Reiwa era movies that we have so far. So that would be Shin Godzilla, the Hideaki uh, Anno movie. Hideaki Anno, of course, is known for doing the Evangelion anime series and all the re rebuild of Evangelion movies. This is a fantastic movie. I absolutely love this. Um, and then there are, the, uh, there are the three Godzilla anime movies which are available to watch on Netflix. They are available, uh, you can import the discs on DVD or on Blu-ray from Japan. The Blu-rays are extremely expensive, but they could do a set for the Reiwa movies. Uh, also, possibly a legendary movies set. Uh, there are three Godzilla Legendary movies that have been released so far. We had the 2014 or 2015 or whatever it was, Gareth Edwards movie. That was followed up uh, by Kong Skull Island, which kind of broadened the legendary kaiju universe. And then followed by Godzilla King of the Monsters, which featured Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidra, and is leading into the fourth movie of that series, uh, the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. So we could get another four movie set to contain those four, have a cool design, same motif on the spines to fit with everything else. Um, or heck, maybe even something stupid like uh, the Soderbergh uh, Godzilla, or sorry, uh, Roland Emmerich Godzilla movie from 98. and throw the animated series in there to turn it into a you know four movie set or a four disc set or maybe do different kaiju like do a set for king kong uh, we have you know the original king kong movie son of kong the king kong escapes stuff like that that would make a pretty decent set or something more godzilla related and have a mothra set mothra has uh, they have their own four movies. The original one and the Heisei era trilogy could make for a nice little set right there. Or maybe even something completely different like War of the Gargantuas and Frankenstein versus the world or Conquers the World. So there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of stuff that I would love to see. There's a lot of other kaiju movies that I don't have and it'd be cool to get, you know, a box set of... Ichiro Honda's uh, other kaiju related movies like Mothra and Rodan and stuff like that uh, or some of the ones that didn't really make it quite as big as those did um, but yeah there's there's so many things and I, I hope that this uh, this artist this creator who made those box sets that I've been showing off um, I hope that they they continue to make more sets because they do really really beautiful work and I don't know if they design these themselves or if they're just selling them um, but whatever the case may be, I really appreciate the work that they've done and I appreciate that they allow those to be available for purchase. Now, their name on eBay, if you're interested in finding them, and I'll put the name in the description down below, is Xebec underscore 61, X-E-B-E-C underscore 61. That's X-E-B-E-C underscore 61, X-Ray, Epsilon, Bravo, Epsilon, Charlie underscore 61. Um, and I, like I said, I'll put the name down below so you can look it up and find these sets. Right now, I think I mentioned already, they don't have the Showa era set available, but if you message them, they might be able to put it back up or make it because I think they are made on demand. Um, so that's everything I wanted to say, everything I wanted to show. I just thought these were really, really nicely done, really well put together sets. And I'm hoping that other collectors like myself agree and might want to get these for themselves. I, in my opinion, it's a worthwhile investment. Um, in making your Godzilla movies look really, really spectacular on your movie shelf. So anyway, thank you so much. If this is your first time watching a video at my channel, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you'll consider subscribing. Uh, comment down below with any other, you know, movies that you'd like to see custom sets for. Uh, maybe other kaiju movies that I don't have that you think that I should track down and add to my collection. Uh, if you're a return uh, person in my channel, welcome back. Thanks so much again for watching another video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the different content than what was usually here. Anyway, tune in uh, next time for more 
more typically comic book related stuff. Uh, but until then, thanks so much again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay healthy, stay happy. We'll see you on the next one.